This is the service model. I'm going to tell you exactly like the way I think of my whole structure. I'm always the guy. I bring my camera. I don't really even leave it in the bag. Like when we go to the beach in the summer, I'll like have it on my neck. I will have it on the blanket. It could literally get sand in it and I kind of don't care because I'd rather have good photos than a non-sandy camera. So <laughs> we like, that's me holding. There's a, there's a balance. Well, I'm just joking. yeah, so that's me. I brought, I brought my camera out. We, we got invited to dinner at a friend's cabin and uh, you know, that's me holding my, my camera, like my pro camera, like this far off the water. Yeah, I was getting a little bit splashed. There was kids jumping in the water. These are like my favorite photos, more at the lake. Like that was me in the boat. I have, Crystal took this one of me. I'm having a cigar. Like that's my favorite kind of photo. And the one on the left even, the, they've become really good friends of ours. Uh, his name's Smith, my kids adore him. That was just us hanging out at the beach. I was like, just, that's the kind of photo I want. And so, and then my daughter at the beach, like those are the, typically the ones, you'll notice everybody's looking at the camera. So everybody's looking at, the, yeah. people tend to buy photos looking at the camera, but they tend to do it not, like they like it still like where it's lifestyle-y, if that makes sense. So, Like, they, like candid photos are fun and they work really good in an album, but it's pretty rare I print a canvas that's really a can, like a candid shot. Like it doesn't, it never, f it, I used to do weddings and I would retouch, like we'd edit them all, but then we'd super retouch 50 photos. Like that's how I did it when I started. And it was always family photos I was retouching. I was like, okay, like no one cared about the creative ones, so. Um, so those are type, the types of stories I love for me. And so I was like, I kind of want to just tell those for my clients. That's my kids running out of the lake. And it is hard to convince people to give up the traditional idea of a photo session. So like I, I take one to two hours, I'm doing the safe portrait side. Yeah. Um, like this is, this is the example I have in here. I start sessions as you'd expect, like they're dressed up. Like that's not how you dress up the lake, right? I don't know. That's how you dress on your beach for your beach photo. Oh yeah, we'll get that one. That one's a great photo too. I like it. Um, I don't want it to feel like a photo shoot. So then this is all part of like the way I planned it. So it is a lifestyle session to me. We did the portrait side, um, but then we went for a boat ride. They changed. Um, we got on the boat. Um, Do you know these people? Nope. It, is it awkward to go and just hang out with them? I shouldn't say I don't know them. Like I connect slowly with people through yeah. people over time. Yeah. So I photographed this lady. She, I did her headshot for, she's a mortgage broker. I did her headshot like five years ago. Yeah. And then that was it. And then she's friends with a realtor that I work with. And then saw that I do lake sessions at Emma. We go to Emma Lake. So they're like, can we do it? Yeah. And like, so we did. These are called lifestyle to me. They got out of their clothes that they were wearing and they make for really good photos too. This is uh, her profile picture. I have some really cute ones of them walking on the beach in their other outfits, but that's the one they picked. I'll show you their favorite photograph from the day. I don't know, I thought that beach one and the dock one were good, but this one was, that's the one they picked. He's wearing some shirt from some like place they went on a trip once. She's got uh, her Lulu leggings on. This is their life, yeah. And so for my values and who I am, and this is, so this is the photo. I was like, this one, you should do the 60 inch canvas. This is their cabin too. like. Like it's intentional. And so I was like, we turned the boat. I just had them sit there. I had the kids, like they're, bo they're teenage boys. They're not kids, I guess, but they're not children. I mean, um, like they had the bigger smiles there. He's got a towel around his waist. He's wearing some like pineapple, whatever shorts. And I don't know, that's my favorite photo too. There's this saying by Henry Ford. You've probably all heard it. If, if this, Henry Ford said this about cars. If I'd asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. What people say and what people do is kind of contradictory. Brides will say they love candid photos and never print them. Yeah, exactly. But they will hire you for them. The way I'm photographing, I think this approach works if I didn't do the video, but it's like, it's all this connected thing for me. People will compensate you based on the quality of your decisions. So if you just show up and shoot, like if you're like, cause there's photographers who do this and it, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you just show up and shoot, you're not worth as much as someone who will like help plan a session that's meaningful. That family could have hired me in the city and I could have photographed them by the river. You know, would they love their photos as much as the ones at the lake? Because they got married. 
And that, so that's that lady's step kids. I think the last photos were like seven years ago at their wedding or something like that. So, so I kind of changed the way I think of what I do. I don't tell, I don't take pictures, I tell stories. So it, it removes me from needing to have a camera. Like it kind of just like changes the definition of what I'm being paid for, I guess. And I think that's where there's like a bit of a freedom for me. I'm not there to just take the posed pictures. I mean, people still phone me to do that and I'll be like, yeah, we'll do that. We're still gonna do the thing I wanna do or we're gonna go on your boat or something. And so by using that language, not con confined to photography. So this is where we hit your question. I only have two services for MJ and Co. I have wedding services and lifestyle services. I have three deliverables. I keep it really basic. I have digital photographs, professional print products, and then keepsake films. There's only three things. I keep things really simple. There's this thing, if you have too many choices for people to make, they won't make any choice. For weddings, I literally have one price. There's a la carte add-ons, but it's like most people don't even need an add-on. It's just like, that's what I do. Um, it's eight hours, two photographers, and an engagement session. That's it. And then add-on, you can do a hy hybrid, like a keepsake film is an add-on for a wedding. And prints are an add-on for a wedding. An extra time is an add-on. But it's all this like, we don't do any modifications. Like, I have one wedding package, one lifestyle package uh, as well. I didn't talk about that. Every type of service we offer is centered around that. And so I'm gonna give you a couple more examples. We don't specialize in newborns, maternity, or children. We just specialize in storytelling. I had a client, I shot their wedding, I photographed their family. Last summer, they wanna do a cake smash. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm not gonna do that. And then I was thinking on the phone, who should I recommend they go to? And then I was like, well, why don't I just do it and tell the story of that and let her, like it's not gonna be the in-studio cake smash. It's going to be something different. So it's in December, we're gonna just do it on the birthday party day. And now they got a birthday party photographer, which is fun. And I like telling stories. So I'm gonna take family photos at this birthday party. Mom's gonna buy a cake from Slice Decadence and we're gonna do it in their living room. And like, that's their life. And like, the, it doesn't matter if their living room is beautiful, or sorry, their kitchen. It doesn't matter if it's big or simple. They're a great example of like, a lot of my work is people are, people are hiring me with like, they're, that are a little bit more affluent or like, I mean, I'll probably never own a wakeboard boat in my life yet. A bunch of my clients have it. This one's a great example of like, their home is just, you know, it's kind of like what I would, like kind of like my house, like just a simple house. But I'm like, that's still where they live. That's where they are growing their, or like raising their family. I just literally, we're gonna have this kid eat some cake. I will photograph it. I'll take some portraits. I'll probably take some portraits of all the family who's come in for the party. And then uh, just film that. And like, at the end of the day, I'm just capturing a story. So I will do newborns if it's story-based. I will go to their house. I will do maternity if it's story-based. I will go to their house and we will just do that. Like maybe they're making a cup of tea. I could show you, I've done all these actually. I could show you four different films in the past year I've done where I do maternity and when they bring baby home. And now I don't need to bring props. I don't need to have a four hour session where they poop on me. I'm just showing them being parents. Do you have an example like of like, uh, a time when you said no because they didn't want to tell the story? Yeah, I had, a, I had one couple, I photographed their wedding. So they were already a past client. They wanted maternity photos, studio style. Yeah. And I just was like, I don't do that. And then they went to someone who did that. That was what okay. I did. I didn't have this kind of, this was like maybe two, I don't know, like half a year before I kind of figured all this out. I wonder if they would have came to me and done it, like gone ahead with it, if I was like in this mindset. Yeah, I see. So I, see. I, did, I did still do uh, lifestyle sessions for maternity, I just didn't have the, the film. I didn't even, t I didn't use language like I'm a storyteller. So they just thought it was lifestyle maternity sort of thing. This sounds like it's been like for very profound for you. It has been, yeah. Like, I feel like this is like, Some kind of enlightenment or something. I would say so, yeah. Like it feels that, no? no, it feels that powerful to me. Like that video I showed, the first one, I remember watching it and I was like, this is who I am, I was like, I was like crying even like watching it. For some reason, watching something I made, I was like, I was tearing up. I showed my wife uh, and she was tearing up and she's like, I could cry. Like literally the opening scene, 
where it's like, Dah. and she's holding my daughter's hand. My daughter's in a cute romper. My da- you just see the back of her. That's the little path we take to get to the, the dock at Emma Lake. I have that thing to like remember my life. That's a good question. Um, so she asked if I start with video uh, and then switch to photos or vice yeah. versa or how I do it. So I don't parse it out. I'm like literally like snap, 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 record a clip, stop the clip, drop my camera, switch my camera to my other lens. I had a D850, I probably wouldn't have to do that, but I do like the two lenses.